Hey, what is up, guys? Dean here, and welcome to SmackDown Live Talk Podcast. Now, let's just get right into talking about SmackDown Live. I actually enjoyed it. You know, it was actually a good episode of SmackDown. Uh, it starts off with Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan uh, talking about uh, what's going on into WrestleMania and Randy Orton versus AJ Styles. And apparently they do disagree with each other time to time. Uh, Shane McMahon thinks that AJ Styles should go to WrestleMania and headline it. And Daniel Bryan thinks that Randy Orton should go and headline WrestleMania. Uh, so with that being said, they both came up with the idea for Randy Orton and AJ Styles to go ahead and face each other. And they did. We'll get to that last uh there was a match between john cena and nikki bella versus james ellsworth and carmella um very simple we all knew that john cena and nikki bella was gonna win this match um very clean uh nikki bella and john cena uh did their moves while nikki bella did john cena moves and they won the match. Then after they start celebrating, the Miz and Maurice attacks John Cena and Nikki Bella. So technically this match will definitely happen at WrestleMania. Now with that being said, let's get to the women's. Uh who is Alexa Bliss gonna face at WrestleMania for the SmackDown Women's Championship? Well, Danny Bryan had an idea, so Danny Bryan comes out. And looks at Alexa. Before uh, Dan and Brian came out, um, Alexa Bliss came out with Mickey James. Then Becky Lynch came out. Then Natalia comes out. Oh, God help us. <laughs> so, with that being said, Dan and Brian comes out, addresses that whoever doesn't have a match, any woman that doesn't have a match, is going to go on to WrestleMania and fight for the SmackDown Women's title. So technically, any woman can go into it. Uh, so far, we know that Alexa Bliss is in it. Uh, Becky Lynch is definitely in it. Natalia, And apparently now, Mickey James. So there's a chance this might just be a fatal four-way match or a five-way match because you never know if Naomi is going to come back around that time or who knows. It could be Carmella in that match. So, we'll see what goes on with that. Uh, so, let's go to Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose, uh, well, Kurt Hawkins was in the ring. Uh, waste of space again. Dean Ambrose is not taking any part of Kurt Hawkins. Dean Ambrose is just focusing on Baron Corbin. Trying to get Baron Corbin back out. Baron Corbin is on the Titan Tron. And saying he's not that easy to call out. So Dean Ambrose had enough, went in the back to go find Baron Corbin. And Baron Corbin attacked Dean Ambrose in the back. And having one of those um, construction trucks. uh, The thing that just moves up and down, that lifts things up on high shelves. Baron Corbin goes into that truck and pushed down the uh, lever. And squash, squashes Dean Ambrose. So we will find out what goes on next week with that. So that's so far that's what happens between them two. Now let's just get to the main event of SmackDown. We had Randy Orton versus AJ Styles. The first time ever... They, these guys fight each other. And I thought it was actually a decent, decent match. It was a very solid match I actually liked. Uh, so let's just get right into it. Uh, Randy Orton defeated AJ Styles with an RKO. And now Randy Orton is going to go on to face Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania. And speaking of Bray Wyatt, where was he? Why didn't he come out during this match or at the end of this match to stare down Look at Randy Orton. Especially what Randy Orton did last week was burn Bray Wyatt's little house down. You know, come out and try to attack Randy Orton for that. Or 
is there like a storyline? Well, obviously it's a storyline, but is there anything that they're trying to do between Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt? So who knows? Uh, next week we'll see. Looking forward to seeing everything. And those are all the high points that happened on SmackDown. So thank you guys so much for listening to SmackDown Live Talk Podcast. And I will see you guys tomorrow.